In the pursuit of clout, nothing is off limits. Even if someone is dead, that doesn't exclude them from being part of an epic YouTube video. That body will be filmed and paraded around for some views online. No price is too high for YouTubers to pay if it means views on their channel. You remember Daddy05, the channel where it was a family abusing their kids for views? Well, that's not exactly uncommon, I would say. There's a lot of really bad family content on the platform. Not all of it's bad. There is some like genuinely wholesome families. But one thing that I've always took issue with with some of these channels is it feels like they use their kids as a prop for their own narcissism and just using their kids for views. I sometimes just get the impression the parents don't even view their kids as human beings, just these little piggy banks that are like a vessel for them to make money off of. And today we took a disturbing look behind the scenes of one of these family channels where the creator accidentally uploaded an unedited version of a video that she made. It was about heartbreak in the family and in it she was using her son's crying as part of her thumbnail trying to direct him while he was really having a very rough time. It's, it's pretty fucking hard to look at. So just a fair warning there. And I have to say, it seems awful to be part of one of these families that records everything, even like the saddest moments of your life and tries to use it for views. Like, imagine you're crying and your mom's like, okay, keep up that energy, keep crying. I'm gonna get the, uh, the iPhone real quick. Okay, now say I'm sad, super sad, super sad, but make sure to subscribe because it'll make me happy. You know, like, that's, that's a fucking nightmare. I'd rather be part of the Manson family than a family vlog channel. Like, it just seems horrible. You know, some of these families record even the saddest moments of your life because to them, that's money in the bank. And I think that shit's awful. I also think it's awful that some of you out there haven't subscribed to the Huge Charles channel. I'll make sure to put a link in the description below so you can check that out. That's some good old wholesome family fun. Can't wait for her to bring her home and be part of our family. Put your hand, put your hand right here. Almost like, pray for us. We appreciate it. I love you guys. <laughs> come here. Come closer for the video. Come closer. Come closer. Come closer. Put your hand, put your hand right here. Almost like, close down. Put your head down here. Act like you're crying. Really quick. I am crying. Go like this. No, I'm not. I'm actually seriously crying. No, I know. But go like this. For the video. <laughs> Imagine being this devoid of basic emotions, where you've completely thrown away humanity in the pursuit of your internet fame. Obviously, the kid is really crying. He even says, like, no, mom, look, I'm actually crying. But she's like, oh, no, no, that's good. Yeah, 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 no, keep pretending. It, like, she can't even wrap her head around the idea that her kid might actually be emotional. And instead of turning off the camera to help her son, she's trying to use that to make a thumbnail. Exquisite work, masterful directing here. She really captured the misery and trauma wonderfully in the thumbnail. No doubt, easy million views there. Do you think for the next one, perhaps, we can go to a funeral and line up the grieving family around the open casket, maybe stand the body up a little bit, and then they all just look really sad, maybe looking down a bit? I think she's got a great career here in Hollywood, no doubt. Uh, very impressive work, for sure. Uh, some people, I swear to God, would dig up the grave of their grandfather, get his corpse out, and fucking pour slime down his throat for like a slime challenge if it meant extra views on their channel. Like, it, there is nothing sacred. They will do anything for fucking views. Here she saw an opportunity like, oh, starts rubbing her hands together like a cartoon villain. How can I make the most amount of views off of this horrible situation? I know. Let's make sure that the audience can see my son is crying, and then I'll cry. But listen here, Junior, if, I, if we don't get more tears out of this, we're gonna fucking starve. Do you want that on your conscience? Then you'll have something to really cry about, because you'll be going hungry if this thumbnail isn't fucking sad enough. So you're gonna have to fucking cry more now! And then look at the camera, please. Okay, now come here. Okay, good, good, good. All right, excellent. Obviously, she was made aware of her whoops-a-daisy here, the little chess blunder, pretty quickly. I think she deleted the video within 30 minutes. She then reposted it and then just took down the video altogether and addressed it as quickly as possible with this video where she talks about how disappointed she is in herself. I'll play a short clip from that. 
I, we are very upset. We've been crying all day. It has been extremely scary. They don't know if she's going to make it. Honestly, completely worn out, emotional crying the whole day. I had Christian on my shoulder and I was like, here, come here, come pose for the thumbnail with me after the video was done. And that was so disgusting of me. I should not have done that at all. We were both already so sad and upset and in such a vulnerable state today. So the situation was their new puppy contracted parvo before they got the dog. So the dog wasn't doing super well. So the whole family was upset and she was emotional all day. And then she talks about how gross it was that she, she did this in the first place and left it in the video and how disgusting the behavior was. It's not like there's anything she could have said to make the situation better or a way to justify that behavior. And she doesn't try to. I mean, like, what, how are you going to fucking spin that where you're like the hero? Like, no, no, you see, the reason I was trying to direct my kids crying for a thumbnail is actually because uh, terrorists were holding the dog hostage and they demanded at least a million views on this video. So I, I had to do everything in my power to make it happen in order to save the dog's life. You know, like, there's nothing she could have done to justify anything in the video. All she could really say is that it was gross, it was stupid, and she's sorry. That is really all she could do in the situation. One thing that I would also like to mention is the fact that she keeps saying how emotional she was and that she was like really crying all day and just super emotional overall. I don't necessarily get that perspective from the, the short clip I watched because it seems like she wasn't crying and it seems like she hadn't been crying. It looks like she hasn't cried since Jersey Shore got cancelled. So I don't know if she necessarily was that bothered by it or if like the entire day she had planned on making a video about the situation. So she went into like YouTuber mode where she wasn't allowing herself to be emotional on camera. I don't really know. But overall, there's just not a whole lot she could say or do here to make anything that much better. So she's just up front saying everyone was right. This was gross. This was stupid. And I'm sorry. She doesn't try and like spin this in any way like, no, you guys are wrong. This didn't happen that way. She's just up front like, yeah, this is fucking gross and disgusting. So, I mean, that's good at least that she admits that. But one thing that left a sour taste in my butthole though is that in the apology video she also brings up the harassing DMs and shit that she's gotten. Now of course I never encourage harassment, this is also why I'm not putting her name anywhere in this video. I hate when people go out of their way to harass someone or send death threats or any fucking degenerate garbage like that. She's absolutely right to call that, those kind of things out, but why do it in the apology video? It kind of makes it feel like, okay, I fucked up, but you should also feel bad for me because as a result of this, I'm getting this kind of horrible stuff. So I, I just don't think this was the right time to talk about that. The focus of the video should have stayed on you owning up to the mistake. Uh, that It shouldn't have shifted to like, ah, oh, but I'm also a victim. I, I just don't think that was the right call there. In a comment, she also mentions that she'll no longer feature her son on her channel. Because I, I, I'm assuming, the comments are turned off here, I'm assuming a lot of people had the same impression I did where they felt that she was using her kid for views. And it's hard to really argue that when you have this footage here, where she is quite literally using her son for a more attention-grabbing thumbnail by trying to manipulate his misery for the audience. So I think that's also a good call to steer away from featuring your kids like that, especially if they might not want to. Like, it doesn't seem like the kid really wants to be in the thumbnail when he is crying. And he has to keep reiterating the point like, no mom, look, I'm actually crying. And then she still keeps trying to direct him. So I think her also saying that her son will no longer be used on her channel like that is a good thing. It, overall, it's a fucking terrible situation. And it's hard to really take her at her word that this is like a one-time thing. Like, because now that you've seen behind the curtain here, now that you've seen how the sausage is made, as the expression goes, it's hard to really be like, oh, okay, I'll take her at her word that this has never happened before. Where she's not, you know, using her kids or, or using horrible situations for the sake of views. The whole perspective is a bit baffling to me where you'd have like this awful situation with a puppy and a family vlog channel's like, that's a good video, a crying video. And it's not the only channel to do that. I remember there was another channel only like a week or two ago. I'm not gonna show anything from this at all, but it was a family vlog channel. They were going on this fucking multi-million dollar vacation or some shit, but they arrived to the airport too late. So they were about to miss their flight. And the dad brings out the fucking camera and he films his children really sad, his wife really sad, and him being aggressive towards the employees that are telling them like, look, it is literally too late. You have arrived too late to get on this flight. And he makes this whole video just being rude to them and filming his family being sad. Like, what the fuck do you... Hey, that entitlement is wild. Like, what the fuck do you want them to do? Ground the plane? Like, no, 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 the pilot's not allowed to take off. Fuck it, this family channel has a million subs. We have to allow them on and give them first class. Kick everyone else off the plane. 
Like, I don't know what they were expecting. They arrived too late. And B, what m blows me away is that the dad would even think, like, this is a video. My family is really upset, and I'm going to be rude to these people. That is a video for the family channel, baby. Bang. Like, I just don't get it. And it's the same thing in this situation. Like, this puppy is in rough shape, and we're all very upset about it. That's a banger video. Let's all start crying on camera. It, it just, it, I, I don't get it. Uh, it, it, it's fucking, it's astonishing. It really is. I don't really have words to describe it because I just don't understand why anyone would think that's a good idea. This situation was a really fucking gross one. Uh, hopefully this really is the only time she's used her kid like this. Hopefully there's not anything awful going on behind the scenes like this. Uh, so yeah, that's about it. See ya.